Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with Sandra Solomon Fragrance. And you didn't say the one and only. Uh, no, not today, but you are the one and only. Uh, the one and me. only Sandra Solomon Fragrance. <laughs> Hi, guys. So I brought you here today because I wanted you to choose 12 men's fragrances that will drive women crazy. And you have selected 12 pretty damn insanely, crazy, amazingly, insanely, I already said that. <laughs> awesome fragrances for men, yes, right? Yes, I have. So as long as the women are as crazy as me, they mm. will love these on you. Ooh, I love the sound of that. Let's get to it. So I do want to mention that all of these fragrances have been chosen by you and you alone, right? Yes. So which is the first one that you have chosen? I have chosen... This is the one and mm. only Killian Angel's mm. Share. This boozy gourmand will drive any woman crazy because it's so good. It's incredible. It's elegant. It's extremely sexy. And yes, this is for a guy who knows how to smell. So yeah, I agree. This one to me is really intoxicating and addictive. Super sexy in a boozy gourmand kind of way. Yeah. And it seems like pretty much everyone I meet when I have that on seem to feel the same way. And the next one is, I think maybe one of, or the first Tom Ford fragrance that I fell in. No, the first one was Black Orchid. Mm. This was like the second I fell in love with from mm. Tom Ford. And that is Tobacco Vanille. Mm. This is intoxicating. Mm. This is crazy good. This vanilla together with some dried fruits and the tobacco. Wow. I mean, if you are a guy and you wear this, you will feel amazing. Yeah, and I do, I can, I can testify, attest to that Sandra Solomon loves the, the, the scent of this one because I've had it on to like formal events, to the gym, and when you picked it up, you've been like, oh my yes. God, what do you have on? And this is unexpected. Mm. It is crazy good in the gym. Mm. So if you want something that will make the girls go crazy, no matter where you are, uh, and if you are brave enough to try something different in the gym, mm. and I'm going to get some hate for saying this, Whoa. but tobacco vanilla, try it out. Check it out. And I know that you are in love with ombre leather. I from am. Tom Ford. I am. And we can't share. So I found my own love. Mm -hmm. And that is ombre leather parfum. Ah. I mean, I mean, both are really good. Yeah. But I really do like that there are more floral notes in this one. It's, to me, a bit more elegant mm -hmm. and still with the sexy leather. Mm. Great one. It has that ombre leather vibe that is intoxicating to so yeah. many people. I <clears throat> just love this one. The next one is from one or maybe the best line for men mm. and that is Dior Om mm. and this is the intense one and if the perfume was still available I would have chosen that one mm. but the intense is almost as good both mm. are like perfect yeah so what do you enjoy about this one oh my god the powdery lipsticky notes the the wood the slight sweetness the total masculinity mm with those powdery notes. So uh, this is one of my four life fragrances. And I'm gonna say among my four life fragrances, this is definitely like top, top, top. But, um, so I, I always recommend this and every single guy that I recommended it to that ended up buying it, always come back to me and says, okay, I love it, my girlfriend loves it and all of that. Yeah. But from time to time, I get someone in the comments saying like, no, that's too feminine for me. It's uh, what? It's 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 so, if for someone who's uh, whatever, and Whoa. I'm like, Whoa. they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. This is incredible, and Tell this them. is the kind of fragrance that makes me wish that I was a man. I would be bathing in this ah. all day long. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and about that, I think we had a video where. Someone suggested you bathing in this yeah. with no shirt on. Yeah, that was some time ago. Yeah, so if you want to see that, give us a like and a comment. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah okay. I just promised something for you. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, whenever I put it on, I get a compliment for someone. And I promise that you will get compliments when you put it on. So the next one is one that I 
that made me go crazy mm -hmm. from the first sniff. And that was when I was in the store and mm. I tried this out and it is L'Omidial EDT from Guerlain. And so good. I got a sample and I was sniffing that all day and I was like, I love this so much. Should I buy it for myself? And then I decided that this is to be smelled on a man. Mm. So I did not buy it for myself, ah, okay. but I'm very happy that you have it so mm. I can smell it. This is incredible. This is so elegant and so beautiful. Yeah. And the almond note. I mean, if you have smelled any of the Lomidial fragrances, you know about the almonds. Yes. Uh, so I have reviews for both the Lom Ideal, this one, the EDT and the EDP coming up, as well as a comparison to make sure you keep an eye out for those videos. Yeah. But this one to me, uh, obviously that signature almond uh, scent that I am absolutely addicted to, I just love it. And that to me, that scent is unique to this collection of fragrances. Yes. And the way it's blended with something slightly sweet, a bit of vanilla, I believe is in, in the base, together with woody notes, it's just, it's just so unique. That's why I recommend it, not only because it's really, really good, and it is something that a lot of women go crazy about, but it's also quite unique. This is not a scent that every single man out there runs around with. No. Quite the opposite, it's not common for men to have this one on, so you are definitely going to stand out in a crowd with this one. And yes, this is a fragrance that will drive women crazy. The next one is one that I think is going under the radar, not amongst us who knows about fragrances and many of you who watch us, but I have never heard anyone else than fragrance nerds having an Ormond Jane fragrance. Mm. And this is Four Mon Tobacco Intensivo. So good. Wow. This is such a different and elegant tobacco fragrance. So if you think that you have smelled great tobacco fragrances before, you haven't smelled no. anything like this yeah i love it yeah so this is like a, a multi nuanced can you say that multifaceted yeah. and nuanced uh perfume it just reeks and oozes quality it's yeah. truly unique it's layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of a luxurious tobacco together with other notes uh, to me it's really complex in the sense that it has a light and airy feel that i rarely get in tobaccos. No. Tobaccos usually are yeah. quite heavy, yeah. but this is definitely not heavy. No. Put it on when you have like a suit and tie and you are going to smell like pure luxury in a beautiful way, yeah. or whenever you want like probably the best goddamn tobacco yes. in the world. Yes, and the most unique. You, I mean, put this on and no one can ever forget how you smell yeah, and you that's... will drive people, women and men and everyone crazy. Yeah, you will drive her crazy and you will leave a long lasting impression on her for sure. So the first time I smelled this next one, I was not blown away, but I was curious mm. and I was interested because this is an interesting fragrance. And the one is Santal 33 from mm. Le Labo. Today, I love this one. This is so different. It's so, and I mean, this is like big letters, beautiful. Mm. This is beautiful sandalwood. And there is, I have not smelled any other fragrance which is with sandalwood that has been better than this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this, I call this one pure magic simply because to me, it's a magical kind of perfume. And it's also magical in the sense that the way this one captures other people's attention is just crazy. This is one of those that I, I can't go out shopping with it without someone like the cashier or whomever who works there uh, or a customer uh, ends up chasing me and just asking yeah. me, okay, what is, what is it that you have on? I just gotta know. Uh, this is something that makes people curious. And when they become curious, they usually approach me in one way or the other. So uh, yeah, I love this one. It's truly a luxurious Santa wood and you will smell like no one else with it on. Yeah, the next one up is one that I have loved since the first time I laid my nose on it. And it is Dandy Me from oh, Paco Rabanne, the Pa so collection. So good. To me, this smells fruity, woody and sweet. Mm. And this, this stands out and this makes me crazy mm. and probably other women as well yeah yeah i've used this uh, on uh, on different dates and pretty much everyone who gets a whiff of it 
ends up thinking that it smells seriously sexy. So this yeah. has rose together with vanilla and a witty side and something a bit fruity to it as well. So yeah. basically it's like a sweet floral with a witty side. But most important, it's intoxicating, yeah. seriously sexy and yeah. You will drive women crazy with this one for sure. So a fun thing about fragrances is that you can really stand out and you can really make people react. Mm. And one that will get the reactions because I don't smell this on men so often, but this no. is incredible on a man. And that's Rouge Trafalgar from Dior. Mm. I love this one. This is a berry, raspberry, strawberry, cherry cocktail. Mm. And it is so good. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not surprised because you no. are a lot like me in the sense that you, you have tried so many different kinds of scents and you are very open-minded and you go by what smells good and you don't care about what smells a bit feminine or masculine no. or whatever. No. Uh, this is to me an unexpected one in the sense that a lot of women, the response I get is that a lot of women are not used to this kind of scent on a man but when they get that kind of scent on a man, wow, the reaction is yes. epic. Yes. So uh, yeah, I love that you chose this one. And not only does this one smell fantastic on its own, but both you and I know how amazing it is when you layer it yes. with other perfumes. So, so if you have not yet tried layering this, you gotta do that. And if you if you are afraid that this is going to be too feminine for you and you wanna add some sexiness and some masculinity to it, uh, try layering it with Oud Isfahan from mm. Dior. That combo is crazy. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so that was uh, a Rouge Trafalgar, highly recommended by the both of us. And if you have watched our previous videos, you know that there is one fragrance that I would love to mm. marry or make out with, as you usually Whoa, say about okay. fragrances you like. Okay. Yeah, I know that you <laughs> love this one, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is Valentino Uomo Abs Noir Absolute. Noir Absolute, yeah. Wow, this, I'm not even into incense. But the incense in this one is beautiful yeah. and sexy. Yes. It is so good. This is by far the best Valentino Uomo mm. fragrance. Okay. Very close, followed by Uomo Intense. Ah, yeah. ah, okay. Yeah, this one is basically, I think it's sandalwood. We have that incense and this to me is incense done right. So at least in my world, there's two different kinds of incense. One is that feels just out of, out of whack. Old churchy. O old churchy, <laughs> yeah, old school. And then we have the modern type where they blended it to perfection by yeah. melting it with other kinds of scents. Yes. And this one to me is exactly that. It's so good. It's classy, elegant, and super sexy as well. It is. You will, and I understand uh, the, when you say that this one will drive women crazy because I have driven, driven, yeah. women crazy with that one. So yeah, yeah, awesome pick. So I usually tend to hate soapy fragrances, but one soapy, really soapy fragrance that I like is Aqua di Parma Colonia Essenza. This nice. is elegance in a bottle. Yes. Elegance and masculinity. Yes. This is, I mean, if you smell this on someone and you hug that person, that scent follows you home mm -hmm. and reminds you of the person wearing it and that's that does drive people crazy mm. yeah awesome pick yeah this is uh, this is soapy but and i'm very sen sensitive to overly soapy fragrances i can't stand overly soapy ones no. but this one is not overly soapy so it has something musky at the base it definitely has that soapy aspect and then it has a floral aspect but all of those are blended to perfection and like you mentioned this to me is like a classic modern classic almost because it's a classic scent but it doesn't feel outdated it feels timeless and beautiful and it's definitely uh, classy and elegant and masculine yes. i love this one awesome pick make sure you try it if you have not yet done so and we do have to have some leather in this mm -hmm. list and i chose one of the most elegant but still sexy mm. ones. And that is Godolphin from Parfums de Marly. This is incredible. Yeah. And yeah, I think you can rock it as a girl as well, but this is really masculine and I mm. love it on a man. 
So yeah, this drives me crazy and will probably drive others crazy. Yeah, uh, so you have leather and you have leather. You have those that are sort of deep, raw, sometimes smoky, very much in your face kind of leathers. Uh, for example, Aqua de Parma leather to me is very intense yeah. and sort of a raw luxurious. It smells fantastic, but to some people it can be a bit too much. Um, this one is on the side where you have leather together with a fruity side yeah. and a bit of, I believe there's musk or something in the base together with a bit of, I think there's vanilla in There's something sweet in it and that makes it so much more attractive to so many other people. So yeah, yeah, I love this one. And if you want a really fun, to me at least, fun, playful uh, and sexy leather, but with an elegant touch to it, yeah. then this is like a must. Please do try Godolphin. So there you go. Those were 12 phrases that will drive women crazy, but we are not yet done. I'm going to ask you to pick three of these. So first off, you love them all. Let's just yes. put it that way. But if you had to choose only three of these, which would you choose? This is so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so which one have you chosen? I have chosen the three best. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and as I said, as you said, I love all of these, but these are the top three that, yeah. I almost don't have words Without for them. further ado, show no, them. No, let's let, let's, let's let's let them wait. Yeah. So which <laughs> no. one? So of course, Valentino, Uomo mm. Noir, Absolute. I mean, I so said good. I would marry this, so yeah. I just gotta have awesome it. Awesome pick. And then I have Montabacco Intensivo from Ormond Jane. And my love, Tom mm. Ford Ombre Leather Parf Parfum. Wicked. So yeah, there you go. There you had 12 awesome fragrances and her top three within these 12. Please hit that like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to head on over to Sandra Solomon Fragrances channel. I'm going to link to her channel in the description below. So make sure you check her out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.